Welcome everybody back to my channel. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini, and I'm a board certified diagnostic and interventional radiologist in New Jersey. Now, you may have seen me do a few reaction videos to some med students recently, and that's because they keep popping up on my YouTube algorithm for you page or my front page of YouTube. The last few videos I've done have been about quitting med school, and I thought I'd impart my wisdom in my old age. I'm not that old, by the way. But nonetheless, I found some more day in the life of a med student videos that I thought would be fun to react to too because they keep popping up on my feed. On today's video, we are going to be reacting to Faye Bait, link up here, who has a YouTube channel and is in medical school, apparently, in the UK. That's all I know so far. I have no idea what's in this video. Again, this may be a terrible video, but it may be good as well. So stay tuned, let's go ahead and get into the video. Let's go. All right, first and foremost, we're gonna have to go over here to watch the video. So I have like a great time doing this. So hopefully you all like it. I don't know if it's me being nostalgic in med school, which I'm not really missing med school ever, but it's still kind of fun to go through and see what they're up to. So Faye Bate, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, or Faye Bate, I don't know. She is based out of the UK because it says based out of the UK University. And uh, we'll see what's going on in the UK in terms of med school. Also, while I get this set up, just go ahead and do a quick favor for me. And that is to just smash that like and subscribe button, mostly the subscribe button with a little dash of like, and uh, it's free of charge, just takes a second. All you gotta do is move your hand up to the screen or swipe up and hit subscribe. So just go ahead and do that for me. Appreciate it. I'm very, very, very excited to be vlogging again this week. I'm on my second week of my heat. I'm all about the zit cream on the face there. I'm down. I actually got into a really good routine with waking up. So it's currently 6 a.m. and I'm about to head to the gym. It's just if I don't. Let's go. Early morning workouts before class. Let's go. Let's go. I said good morning to my pride and joy, Mr. DeLonghi, and downed my pre-workout espresso. The pre-workout espresso. You know, I used to drink coffee before I went to the gym and then I started to get like lightheaded. So now I just wake up and go straight there and then I have coffee afterwards. In classic Faye Bait fashion, I was in a rush and grabbed my lunch before. It is Faye Bait. Nailed it. Guys, look how crinkled my shirt is. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. P.S. One of my biggest pet peeves, not on other people, but me, is a wrinkled shirt. Like I get, so even my scrubs, like these are pretty freshly pressed, but I will throw them in the dryer or whatnot before I put them on because they get all wrinkly. I hate that. Wow, I'm better than ever. <laughs> yes, all the time when we were like, had our stuff in the library. We all had like our separate cubicles or separate areas of the library we would study in. And then like the new year would roll around and like the new kids didn't know where everybody's spot was. And they would just come and put their stuff around on like your spot. Man, used to drive me crazy. Once again, I joined the morning ward round, checking in on heme patients all over the hospital. Then it was big, big smiles because I had an early finish. So I think what's happening here is she has hematology rounds. That's like her rotation she's on right now in med school. And uh, she goes in that and then she does the other daily stuff on top of that. I think I got a hold of this. My consultant has actually really, really, really kindly let me have the afternoon off to prepare for my presentation tomorrow. Now, obviously it's not really an afternoon off. I've got a lot to do. Name something better in med school than when your attending physician lets you go early. I'll wait. There's nothing. Nothing is better than that. It's the best thing ever. Unless you have like a project or a presentation to work on, then it kind of sucks. Now I have to do this presentation on a drug that's gonna be approved for use for sickle cell. Now, I don't know if I've said much about this presentation, but essentially the junior doctors were all too busy. So it got given to me. I can't even pronounce it. I <laughs> That's such a classic move there. So like, I think she's saying it's basically the residents are busy and they would do the presentation. However, you might as well just pawn it off to the lowly med student and they will do it because at the end of the day, they need to impress the higher ups and look intelligent and smart because it helps them get in the residency and get noticed and get a letter of rec. Instead of the resident do it, it would be more beneficial if the med student does it. I used to say that all the time. After working hard in residency, the last thing you want to do is stay up all night and do a presentation. Trust me. Well, most people don't want to. Some people really like it. Yesterday, the consultant came into the office 
this and he told me that he'd invited the chief executive of the Sickle Cell Society <laughs> along with all the hematologists in Essex to my presentation. I know what she's feeling because as a med student, you're not really like well versed in some of these medical terms and especially on these little nuanced things like a new drug that's coming out. So you really have to like study and prepare to make sure you don't sound stupid when you're presenting it. Obviously you don't sound stupid, but in your head you think you sound stupid because you're presenting it to like the people who know about this and do it for a living. So it's kind of stressful. Well, very stressful. I genuinely have spent the majority of the time picking which PowerPoint design to use. That sounds like me. I would do the same thing. I'm like, I, I want it to be perfect. And then I just don't read anything and spend most time on design when I haven't even done anything yet. And also that research paper back there with all those medical terms and abbreviations and drug abbreviations, all that stuff is bringing back bad memories for me. Guys, I'm gonna to attempt to make a protein iced coffee. <laughs> Wait, I wanna know how the presentation went. Sorry, I'm taking off my socks. I wanna know how the presentation went. She didn't really get into that. I can finally give you a little bit of a debrief about the talk. I'm not gonna- Finally, she needed to put on the zit cream to give us the debrief. So, how did the talk go? I did get flustered. I did say some silly things. Like I said, oh, well, I don't need to explain what sickle cell is to a room of hematologists. And like, it was very flat, but- I love it. I like the jokes. That's how you get through it. People need a sense of humor. If they don't laugh at that, then can't help them. As the last 24 hours have been so manic, I actually feel like it's the end of exam season. You know, and you're just kind of lost for something to do, but you're still like really on edge and productive. After you spend so much time preparing a presentation and then finally presenting it, it's like you're like super stressed, super stressed, super stressed, and then it's just like a release and dump of endorphins. And then you're like, oh man, you can either be productive or you just need to like, relax on the couch. And what I usually do is I usually have like a headache or something and I'll just like sit down and relax on the couch. But everybody does it differently. Today I spent time on the chemotherapy unit where patients receive treatment for not only cancer but other conditions that use chemotherapy as part of their management like lupus. So she's doing a lot of uh, hematology oncology stuff which is cool. I wish she could show the hospital but I know it's hard for med students. It was hard for me to even do it in residency so I can imagine in med school it's even harder. I popped all my groceries way before the cavalry arrived for a wild Thursday night of fagitis and friendship. Did she say fagitis? Fagitis? Not fajitas? Fagitis? I hope that's a joke. <laughs> See, this is what I miss about med school. You like do your exams, you do a big presentation, even like your third and fourth year of med school when you're in the hospital doing rotations and you have so much time afterwards to just hang out with your friends. I had a whole house together with my best friends in med school who are still my best friends to this day. And we would come home and just do the craziest, weirdest stuff because we had so much time and I miss those days. Now I work hard, come home and make YouTube videos and go to sleep early. What a 90 degree turn my life has taken. Oh wait, what a 180 degree turn my life has taken. Just kidding, I love my life. Last day of stroke, patient has been discharged. And I haven't taken a history, so I'm gonna find a different patient. That's the best possible scenario. Patient's discharged, she was delirious, or he or she was delirious, and now you can go find a better one and do a, a thorough history on. All right, so that basically sums up this vlog. I'm not gonna go too crazy with the details of like her day-to-day -day making food and like all that stuff, but I can honestly say that was the very first medical school UK edition vlog I've ever watched. So shout out to Faye Bate for making this video and thanks, she probably doesn't know I'm reacting to it, but thanks for bringing us in on this video. If you have people that you follow in the medical space and you want me to react to one of their days in the life, let me know in the comments below and uh, we'll see if we can make it happen. As always, make sure you smash the like I can't even talk. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button, please. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you don't already, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.